This is Joe Pryor with the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City, a part of Redbud Realty and Associates. And we're now on to the final part of our five part series on the essentials of short sales, and that is negotiating and closing. We've done all our work before from preparation to listing to contract to sending in the complete packet. And now it's time for us to hopefully work a little magic for you. Now, it requires constant contact with a lender, and you've got to know how to deal with the lender. You don't yell, you don't scream, you don't demand. You act professional with them. That's a good way of just having a turnoff right from the beginning. And so we understand that these people are under a lot of pressure that are working the front end of these short sales, and we need to be courteous to them, and we need to be able to be firm with them but not so firm that it's going to turn them off. Now, if for some reason that we don't believe that things are being done quickly enough, we do have a process where we can ask for an acceleration uh, so that we can get a supervisor involved because, as you know, in short sales, I've talked about this many times before, time is of the essence. And everything starts with the first mortgage because we have got to get their approval before we go on to anything else. Now, many of you out there have a second mortgage and we have to negotiate the second mortgage after the first. We need to see if the first mortgage company will pay some money to the second mortgage company before we ever even do that. We got to make sure that the first mortgage company is on board because that's just how things fall out. So after we do that, we go to the second mortgage company. Now in the process, we've checked out a, a profile of your property because there's the possibility that at the beginning or maybe even later in the process, there could be some third party liens. That could be something like a homeowners association that is where you're delinquent in payments. We'll deal with that. We'll deal with everything that's in that. So what we do is make sure that we're informing the buyer and the buyer's realtor as well as you of everything that's going on in this process, that we know how to negotiate this from step one to step two to step three. If we do our job properly and if everything is right, then we get an approval for your short sale. And then at that point, then what we do is we inform the buyer that they've got 30 days to close. And so even though it may have taken 60 days or maybe 90 days in some cases, if there's multiple liens that we have to deal with, then, you know, hey, they've got to close in a quick fashion. And again, we've informed them of that. So we go into kind of the two minute offense, uh, so to speak, so that we can get to that closing date because we only get a guarantee for that particular 30 days. So we'll work with them to get that done. In the meantime, you're going to be looking for a place to live. You're going to be looking for some places to rent, which we're going to assist you with because we're going to have a normal closing. And when you come to closing, you'll notice that even though let's say you have $150,000 that was the principal balance uh, on your loan, it may say $120,000 on the closing statement because that's what the lender has agreed to accept. So you're going to get a closing statement that we're going to look over to make sure that all the numbers work out right because the, the whole point of this is, is that you're not supposed to be bringing a whole lot of money to closing. You're supposed to be coming out right. And so we want to make sure of that fact. So we, we especially check that HUD. And when we do close, we are closed. And at that point, in about a four to six week period, there'll be a lien release uh, that says, okay, we've accepted this. Now, from that day of closing, uh, then you have at this present time another two years if you want, and you can repair your credit before you can get another home loan. Now, there's some changes afoot on that, but that hasn't happened yet. But the good news is this, you've closed on your home, the satisfied that particular mortgage amount that they put on there. There's some other aspects that I'll cover in some later videos that we really do need to talk about uh, on top of this, but that is the essence. Now what's happening is you can look forward with hope uh, for you and your family as versus having to look back and regret. We know this has been a tough process. We know that it is very emotional for you. We know that you had every reason to say, you know, I'm going to make the, all these mortgage payments for 30 years. But sometimes things just happen. Medical problems, job problems, you're not alone. Six and a half million people are delinquent on their loans right now and we're very sympathetic to your needs. We're empathetic to your state of mind. We want you to be able to look forward. That's our job. So when we get to closing, that's what happens. And at that point, you can start smiling again because your family has a bright future ahead of it.
This is Joe Pryor with the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City, where we deliver traditional real estate values at the speed of technology.